In this video, we'll show you how to mark a waypoint from a sonar screen. Here we're using a GPS map 8412 XSV currently running in simulator mode. However, the same concept will apply to the echo map and striker range as well. Now say for example you've noticed on your sonar screen that you've driven or drifted over something that you like the look of and you want to mark a waypoint on that area. To do that on the Garmin range, first you need to pause the sonar and there's a couple of ways to do that. The first and obvious one is by pressing the pause button on the bottom left hand corner there. So we'll go ahead and press that pause button and as you can see it has paused the sonar and brought up a crosshair. Then simply tap on the area that you wish to mark. So for example, we'll select this area over here. Then you simply press the waypoint button on the top right corner there. This will automatically create a waypoint. And as you can see in this case, it's named it number one. But of course you can go in and edit that as well as other details by pressing the edit button. And from there you can edit the name, symbol, position, depth, water temperature, and even add a comment for that waypoint as well. The second way to pause the sonar on a Garmin screen is by pressing and dragging on the sonar screen as such. Again, that will pause the sonar, bring up the crosshair, and you simply tap on the area you wish to mark and press the waypoint button on the top right. And there you have your waypoint created. Note that these same steps will apply to any sonar page that you're on. For example, here we've demonstrated on traditional sonar, but it will also work on clear view, side view, any of the panoptic sonar options, including live scope. So we'll demonstrate this again on side view this time. So here we've got our side view scrolling there. And again, you can do this either of the two ways, either by pressing the pause button on the bottom left or pressing and dragging on the sonar screen. As you can see, that has paused the sonar, brought up the crosshair, and again, you simply tap on the area you wish to mark. If it's something you've missed and it's already scrolled past on the screen, you can rewind your sonar by pressing and dragging to view your sonar history, and then simply tap on the area you wish to mark and press the waypoint button on the top right, and there you have your waypoint created. Now, all these waypoints that you're creating will automatically save to your waypoints list which you can easily access from any screen by pressing the waypoints button on the bottom left. So we'll go ahead and select that waypoints button. And as you can see, that will bring up your waypoints list. And from there, you can select a specific one. For example, we'll select number three, then select navigate to, and off we go. And that's how you mark a waypoint on your sonar screen. Stay tuned for more Garmin how-to videos.